I guess regardless of level, you know, oh, <laughs> he like trip kicked him. That's an amusing animation, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there you are. Okay, I was worried that they were gonna drag out the, uh... Oh, I was worried that they were gonna drag that out for a couple screens. I saw that someone, a little girl, had fallen into the river. She was clinging onto a rock, but the current was too strong for her. I had to try and save her. Try to hold on. I will go get help. Please help me. Please, I can't hold on. Help me. Whoops. The town was not far, but I knew that by the time I returned, she would be gone. I tried to reach her. But I slipped. The rest is darkness. Sometime later, I woke to the sound of sobbing. Cry, cry, sniff. Cough, spurt. <laughs> uh, what a ride. Note to self, next time use a tree branch to reach the, per reach the person in the river. Yeah, reaching is... Definitely use some object if there's one around. Sniff, you're alive? I think so. How can I tell? Yeah, you're alive. Ow, my head. Where are we? I don't know. The river must have washed us up this cave. You're from my village, right? I'm Vale. Yeah, I live in the village too with my brother. What about your parents? They're dead. Ooh, yikes. It's just me and my brother now. We look out for each other. He'll be worried if I don't come home before sunset. He's the strongest, bravest, best brother ever. If he was here, he would know how to get us out of the cave. Sob. Don't worry, Vale. My name is Artix. I will get you back to your brother as soon as I can. I think I see a tunnel over there. There is no need to be scared. Follow me. I will protect you. Oh, sniff. Okay. <laughs> this run cycle is pretty amusing, too. Ooh, what's this? Uh, no, we don't want to use that yet. Ooh, several cave mushrooms. I like how Vale doesn't count as like a companion or anything, she's just standing behind him. Oh, I missed. It isn't exactly the most interesting thing in the world when all you can do is just the regular attack button, but I don't foresee this being drawn out for too long. See, there we go. I see the light. It looks like we've made it out, Vale. What's that light? It's pulsing. I don't think we should... No, wait, come back. We should leave. Don't forget about your brother, he will be worried. Ah, Vale, I'm coming. Oh no. I knew exactly where we were as soon as I saw the chamber. 
Oh, is this Friday the 13th's castle? This looks like the old guardian tower. We should not be here. Are you alright? What happened to you? I'm fine. I just touched that orb. As I lifted the orb, I heard it talking to me, whispering in my mind. It said I would have great strength and great power. It said that I could increase that power a thousandfold if I gave myself over to the darkness. There was a moment when I almost, but I did not. Good for you, Ardix. Right then and there, I decided to turn my back on the darkness forever. That was the decision. That was when I decided to become a power for good. I am leaving, Vale. This is a bad place and we should not be here. Come on. Uh oh. Once we got back to the village, things did not quite go as I expected. Brother, Vale, I was worried. What are those wings? What? Brother, please don't be mad. I got lost and this boy found me. His name is Ardix, and he... You, you somehow did this to my little sister? Oh, don't be like that. You stay away from her. But no, I... I said stay away. Oh, God. Chill out, man. That night, I was still trying to find a way to explain things to Vale's br brother. When a green mist rolled in... Suddenly, everyone in the town was transformed into zombies. That, that night, I lost everything and everyone I ever knew. Ooh, I forgot how depressing this backstory was. I had no choice but to fight my way out. Zombie villager. I'm glad the uh, enemies have equally as low damage output as Arctic's does. I imagine it would be a bigger pain if they were even hitting for like 12 or 15 rather than like six to ten oh I missed as I looked back at the village I thought I saw a person with wings but then the figure was lost in the smoke I turned my back on the village and ran for my life. I knew nobody could survive that. I thought I was the only one who lived. I wandered in the woods for I do not know how long. Eventually, I reached the end of my strength. I thought I was done for, then. Oh, Lady Celestia found him. I forgot about that. Hello there, young man. Would you like some tea? She nursed me back to health and began training me to battle the forces of evil. But I have but I had enough tea to last me a lifetime. My contact with the orb had changed me. I could now sense the presence of the undead, and I instinct instinctually knew the best way to battle them. 
A few, later, or a few years later, I joined the Paladin Order as a Paladin in training. I put all thoughts of the village behind and looked forward to my new life. Then when I saw Vale, it all came back to me. She and I were the only ones who survived that night. We were unchanged by the green mist. She and I were the only ones who touched that orb. I think it was the elemental orb of darkness. I do not know how, but Nox Noxus got his hands on it and used its power to help construct Sepulcher's army. If I am right, stopping Noxus is more important than I first thought. I'm just glad that you're here by my side. Together I know that we can stop Noxus and the Necromancers. That was a cool story. But now I have to re-equip all my stuff. Unfortunately. versus the undead. You may have noticed, but this whole area is one gigantic graveyard that sits right on top of the necropolis. Much of the graveyard has been claimed by the marshland in the northern and western edges. I have seen some necromancers going in and out of that area. I think they're, they are getting a lot of their materials from there. We should go see if we can do something about that. Before we do that, actually, let's invite him first because that'll make life a little easier. When we were coming here, I saw the sight of a purple robed necromantress walking before us. It looks like your hunch was right, Artix. Then we will start with her. She has had a head start. We will have to fight our way through to her through the undead that she has already raised. One second. I'm not scared of a fight. It's time we gave this necromantress a little payback for attacking Moonridge and Falconreach. And for once we have the element of surprise on our side. You brought a surprise element. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I mean, we have the drop on the Necromantress. She'll never see us coming. She'll never see it coming. They will be coming your way soon, my people. Ugh. This time I will finish these heroes. Make certain that you do. I find your previous failures very disturbing. It is unlike you to fail so utterly. There will be no holding back this time. Necromantress, when the time comes, summon Edgar. Do I make myself clear? But, is, but if I place his spirit in the risk, do I make myself clear? Yes, master, it will be done. Very good. Oh, wow, three of them. Get him, Artix. Yes. Ow. 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 Can't believe that jerk dodged me. Uh, three of them again. They're all shoulder blades this time, though. Another jerk dodged me. It's not cool. Ow. These things are hitting harder 
then I would like them to. Maybe I should start each uh, each fight with a. Uh, Smoke screen. Sorry, I took a really long pause. I got I was like scratching a mosquito bite on my leg. Um, go ahead and do this. Ah. Ta-da. gonna start with smoke screen this time because it seems like at least two of these jerks get to hit me <laughs> each time. Is it just me or does the bone fire look like it should be holding something? Like a small little wand or something of the sort even. Oh, just a regular shoulder blade, or, well, one shoulder blade on its own. Oh, here she is. I need to, like, stand up for a second. Yikes, that's what I'm saying. I think you're going to need something a little bigger. You may be right. Uh -uh. This should do. Ready? It's like a. You just got a hammer. It's hilarious. That's weird, I didn't use that at all, this quest, whatever. I like how he didn't even switch to his axe that he also has in several Arctic's entertainment games, but instead it's just a hammer. <laughs> oh god. He's came at him like a baby rhinoceros. Oh my god! Ooh. Rip Artix, jeez. We're gonna go ahead and block those, please and thank you. Uh, all right. We should be good. Can't really f see if scenario where we wouldn't be. <laughs> he couldn't have taken any of those single swings when he was attacking Artix. Jeez. He just <laughs> he just molly whopped it. <laughs> That was a fancy spear. Ooh, and he messed up that lady's crystal. Now we now we have you. Let's see who hides beneath those purple robes. Metal Gear Solid exclamation point. Who would have guessed? If you guessed, I'll give you a cookie. Well, except I can't because I don't have any cookies to give. But, you know, you've unveiled Veil. Oh, that's so what this episode is getting named. I have to admit, I saw that coming. Yeah. You, you animals. Us? You destroyed my brother. 
I have kept his spirit safe in his spirit crystal for years ever since that night. Well, you did just kind of turn him into a giant zombie and sick him on us. So. Eh. I was so close to getting Noxus to teach me to bring him back. But I used his spirit to animate that undead and you destroyed him and the spirit crystal. Now his spirit is gone forever. It's all your fault. Vale, if what you're saying is true, then you've been keeping his spirit captive. Those spirits of the dead long to move on. Noxus was lying to you when he said that he would teach you how to get your brother back. His life force was really captive all those years. Then there was probably nothing left of your brother to... No, you lie. I loved my brother, Edgar. And you destroyed him. I hate you, Ardex. I hate you. Noxus was right. I should have destroyed you when I had the chance. Fail. Please, fail. Listen to Ardex. I was holding back because of what happened when we were children, but that's over now. Oh man, she t her, her text is t red. That's not good. I will avenge my brother if it's the last thing I do. You will pay. Both of you will pay. Ardix, if she's gone to warn Noxus, then we don't have a lot of time. We've got to get Noxus to stop him. Or, we have to get to Noxus and stop him. I do not believe that it was her. Snap out of it, Paladin. Sepulchre won't wait for his undead army. We have to save the world from darkness. You're right. Noxus has to be stopped now. Ah, uh, Dark Crystal. Huh. That's interesting. Inventory is full. Ah, uh, we're gonna pass on that. That's weird. Every other time I've played this game, I've got an Edgar's Blade as a reward for that quest. Alright. Noxus f Fumes. It looks like the last of Sepulchre's undead army is being taken, being taken care of by the other heroes of Falcon Reach. That means we are free to go down into the necropolis and finish this. We have to get the darkness orb from Noxus at all costs.